Next, we meet some of the members of Tsuji's disaster relief and medical team in Nepal and hear their inspiring stories of how they have been reaching out to quake survivors. Namaste. Seeing a woman holding a newborn baby in her arms, Tsuji volunteer Zhang Guizhi immediately rushed to her assistance. We have a baby doctor oh. come over. Not only does she speak English fluently, Zhang is also proficient in German and French. This is because, apart from the fact that she's a professional interpreter, she also worked abroad for the Taipei Economic and Cultural Office in Vienna. Having traveled the world, Zhang says the Nepalese have made the biggest impression on her. I am truly so fond of the Nepalese. Of all the places I've been to and all the people I've met, I've never come across people like the Nepalese who are so courteous and polite, even when asking for help. Okay. This is uh, for peace and safe. The seven-year-old girl whose leg was crushed during the earthquake can only lie flat on her stomach all day. The girl's bravery deeply moved to the volunteer Tsai Mingxun. The Nepalese are very content and grateful people. When you greet them, they always respond with a very warm smile, and that warmth comes from the bottom of their hearts. Seeing how the Nepalese were never short of a smile or a friendly gesture despite their obvious hardships, for Tai, who is taking part in an international relief mission for the first time, this will be an experience he will never forget. We will pair up into teams of two. One person will be responsible for taking down the information and the other will be in charge of stamping the distribution form. When we hand the forms back to the residents, don't forget to say thank you. We hope that each team may work together and in harmony. Ensuring more than 1,000 distribution forms are successfully distributed without any hiccups is easier said than done. Amid the chaos, volunteers still uphold Tsuji's humanitarian spirit to the highest standard. We follow a standard operating procedure that help us be fully prepared and to carry out each event smoothly. Volunteers serve each resident with patience and a heart of gratitude. Residents were happy and kept thanking us. They always wear a smile on their faces, and they're really happy when we greet them. Residents did not grow impatient from the long wait. Instead, they joined the volunteers in song and dance. Our reporters followed the senior back to a tent, only to find that six adults and two children are cramped inside the small tent. I sleep here. This is where I sleep at night. This grandma's biggest wish is to have a bed to sleep on. We don't have beds to sleep on, so when it rained last night, water came gushing inside the tent and we had to scoop the water out. We are in desperate need of beds. As monsoon season approaches in Nepal, the multi-purpose folding beds that the Tsuji Foundation will be distributing will ensure that the senior and hundreds of others like her will soon get a solid night's rest.